Mike touched on was the uh, properties of the windows. A lot of folks will ask us, because we do energy surveys uh, very frequently, and a customer will, will ask us, well, I have clear glass. What do I do? Do I go ahead and replace all my windows? Like Mike just said, if you start replacing your windows for the sake of trying to save money on your electric bill and your windows are just a couple years old on a new construction, for example, it's not, you're not going to see the payback. But what we do recommend, since the window's already there, is to go ahead and tint the window. And that's what we're concerned about mainly is radiant heat. Out of all the uh, heat transfers, radiant heat is our biggest concern here in Florida. And actually, if you go to FSEC, on the website that's already on your handout, Florida Solar Energy Center, you will see on there uh, the, the percent of how your house gets hot. There's actually a pie chart on their website that's really cool and tells you what percentage of the heat gain of how your house gets hot and radiant heat through the windows is a, is a big deal. I believe it was like 30, 35 percent if I, if I recall. Uh, but anyhow, what you see here is a little show and tell that I'm going to do just for a few minutes and then y'all can leave and we got a lot of food and all that for you guys waiting outside, but I'll need a volunteer. Anyone that wants to volunteer? If not, I'll just pick somebody. All right, Joel from PGT. All right. I want Joel to sit on this chair here. And if you want, you can turn the chair so you're facing that way. And here's Joel in his living room watching the big screen. Watching the heat in the pistons tonight. <clears throat> well, actually, it might be in the daytime. That's why we got a little bit of sunlight hitting him there. You feel that heat? That feels good, huh? Okay, this is what a lot of folks see in their house. That radiant heat coming down in their window. A lot of folks will say, well, I'll lower my curtains or my blinds. Feel better now? Yeah, he feels better. But what's happening to the heat, though? Still coming in the house. The load on your air conditioner has not been decreased. So what do you do? Let's say he goes ahead and puts regular gray tint. Feels a little better. You can see his face. I mean, you can see how red it is right there compared to this. And let's say we go to with ceramic film, which is highly effective also as far as this will allow a little bit more light in but less heat. And then we also have the stainless steel reflective, which uh, Mike talked about. In the daytime, your neighbors can't see you, but at night, guess what? They will be able to see you, and you won't be able to see them. Uh, but this here meter, I'll have them hold it right there. And you can tell me the difference between your clear. I can see it. <laughs> 44, 45. Okay. Oh, there you go. Right there. About 140 BTUs per square foot per hour. If you've got a 20, foot, uh, 20 square foot window, you can imagine how much that's affecting the load on your air conditioner, which is designed to remove 12,000 BTUs per, one, per ton. So if you got, what is it, 140 BTUs per square foot, and you got a couple windows in your house, you're, you're probably oversized on your tonnage because you got clear glass. And then, what's the difference there, Joel? 53. 53. So you almost dropped at 100 BTUs per square foot per hour. Think about how many hours a day your eastern and western glass is taking a beating. So what we do recommend, thank you, Joel, round of applause. <laughs> what we're really concerned about is the radiant heat gain. Of course, all heat will transfer in different ways, like Mike just told us. But in our climate, that's why he touched on at the end there about trees, bushes, anything that you can do to stop the heat from hitting that glass in the first place would be the best that you can do as far as stopping that radiant heat gain. You're still going to have a little bit of convection and conduction, all types of heat gain, but if you want to stop that radiant heat, what you want to do is stop it from the outside. Overhangs, trees, any type of exterior shading will be your best bet, but in the Cape, a lot of new construction don't have trees yet, so then you can go ahead and uh, which the Good Sense program incorporates into the program is the tint that's already on the glass. There's a difference between tint and film, and we want you guys to understand the difference. Tint is already on the glass. Film is something that you put after if you have clear glass, like what you see here. Any questions? Thank you guys very much. You guys have a great day. There's more food outside. I don't know if Joe, want, uh, Joe wanted to say anything else. Thank you guys very much.